plus O2 gives 2CO2 plus H2O. Now, if you see this, um, how many oxygens do we have? We have 2 into 2, 4, 4 plus 1, uh, 8. Wait a second. Yeah. Now, 2 into 2, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. Now, uh, 5, so this will become 5 over 2, O2, because we have 5 oxygen atoms in total. Now, uh, this is the equation for the standard enthalpy change of combustion of C2H2. Now, the standard enthalpy change of formation of C2H2, the, ch the standard enthalpy change of formation, so this will be plus this will 2C because 2 carbon atoms plus H2 gas gives C2H2 gas, right? Because because we know that uh, standard, enthalpy, standard enthalpy change of formation we use in standard enthalpy change of formation we use the elements use the data above and your answer to 1 to calculate the standard enthalpy change of formation delta HF naught of C2H2 okay show clearly whether the standard enthalpy change of formation of C2H2 has a positive or negative value okay so let's make our enthalpy cycle now we know that We don't have space here, so I'll have to make it, make it. I have to, I have to squeeze it a little more. Now, uh, yeah. So we know the standard. So this is the standard enthalpy change of combustion. Okay, sorry, I actually have to make the other arrow, which was upward arrow, not downward arrow. these are the elements now we can see that the, the left arrow the left arrow is the standard enthalpy change of formation of C2H2 this is what we have to calculate right now and the right arrow the right arrow is two times the standard enthalpy change of formation of CO2 plus the standard enthalpy change of formation of H2 Now let's make our vector triangle. A, B, and C. So we can derive a relationship which is C is equal to A plus B. If we incorporate this relationship into a triangle over here, then we get, uh, <coughs> sorry, we get 2 into delta H naught F CO2 plus delta H naught F H2O is equal to A, A is A is delta H not C 
plus 